Bonjour. How are you? Um, I'm pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm all right. I can't complain. I... So what's more fun, the Clear Ice Trophy or the new Megarn 280 but with manual gears? Hmm, good question. Um, I like the Clio in the way that it's you know very light, small car, and, and really it's like a like a go kart kind of. But I prefer the Megane in a in a way you know it's the bigger brother, it's more power, uh, definitely you know quicker acceleration, more top speed, and um, it feels a bit more like a like a, a real sports car. So probably I prefer the Megane. Sam Watson, one three three, best road car I've ever driven. So Sam, as a, you put me in a tricky position here. Do I have to be on point? <laughs> the new Megan RS trophy. Another question from Nunu Horta. How hard is it to maintain the fitness level needed for F1 through the season? In a way, it's not so difficult because you get driving fitness. You know, in the winter time when you don't sit in the car uh, for, for three, four months and then you get back in, that's you know, a really big hit for the body. And all the other physical training, like running, gym, what you've done, can't really, you know, it doesn't get close to what happens in the car. So once you start the season um, and you're in that you know, rhythm of, of regular races, the body sort of really gets used to it. Um, and I think the, the general good fitness level helps. So it, it's not too, too hard. Uh, the harder thing is like not to you know, pick up flus too much and, and get colds. That's always really putting you far behind. So. Trying to stay healthy is, is very important. There, who was the best fan you've ever met? Explain, please. Wow, coming from Japan, you know, with just a fresh experience uh, of the of the very passionate fans there. Um, really crazy, really different uh, in a positive way. Um, but I think it's hard to to name one individual. Um, you know, the support and, and the love we receive is it's nice to see that everywhere, no matter where we. We race on the globe. This one's from Nicolas M. Uh, do you really drive Megane RS Trophy in your everyday life? Yes, I do. Not the trophy, uh, not yet at least. At the moment, I just have the Megane RS. Uh, let's say the regular one. This question is from Yufus60. What is my favorite Renault model? Hmm. I think I have two actually. It's so the Megane RS, but I also really uh, like the. Um, the Coleos, you know, the SUV type, because I like SUV, it's comfortable and very practical. This one's from Irai Aksu Official. How long ha are you hoping to stay at Renault? Well, I suppose until I get my first podium or first victory, I have to stay. Another one from Irai Aksu Official. What's your reaction when you were notified that Ricardo will be your teammate for 2019? I was devastated, I was on the floor, I was crying. It really hit me hard. <laughs> no, I was actually, you know, I was, uh, I was okay with it. I got informed one day before and uh, uh, it was good news. This one's from Mirko Mero. What is your favorite circuit? Um, so Mirko, that will be Monaco. I think there's no track like Monaco and the experience, the, the excitement level there, um, it's pretty unique, so Monaco. How often do you eat junk food? Ooh, you don't want to know, way too often for my trainer but uh, I like my junk food. Uh, I can't sort of live with it, so weekly, definitely. But uh, I'm a pretty active person, you know, train a lot, move a lot, so I get away with it. What's the experience like working on Megane RS? That was, that was fun, you know, to be a little bit involved in, uh, in a development phase of, of, a, of a new model, a new range, is, uh, was good, was cool. I mean, obviously the, the, the Renault RS people did the main you know, uh, job. I got involved a few times, came, drove the, the car and you know, tried to give it a little bit, you know, some, some inputs from obviously the, the Formula One side and the, the racing side, but um, the result I think is it's very good. Do you see a girl in the world of Formula One as a race engineer, for example? Well, recently, the last few years, there's been more and more women, I think, also on the engineering side in Formula One. I've, you know, in Force India, I was even working with one. She was strategist at Sauber IC, so, you know, why not? Never say never. From Julian Z, we hear a lot of people saying 300 horsepower isn't enough for Megane RS Trophy. 
What do you think about that? Well, I agree there can never be enough horsepower, but I think don't forget it's a front wheel drive, you know, and you don't want torque steering to happen. So I think at the moment the setup is good and it's well tuned, but if you go, you know, much beyond that, uh, just with a front wheel drive car, you, you start to get other problems. So I think, I feel 300 is a pretty good number. So Baptiste B, uh, your question is, if I had a Megane RS trophy, which configuration would I take? So I would, color-wise, I would go mm, the yellow, the Renault yellow, I quite like that. And then definitely uh, the Recaro racing seats are definitely worth having, and for me, a manual gearbox. This one's from Anne-André T. You seem like a cool guy in life. How do you transform as a competitor once in the cockpit? Well, Andre, I don't think I, I transform really, but uh, you know, in the car, the environment is it's a bit different. Uh, but when you have the helmet on, the visor down, you just you know you're doing your job. You focus on, on what you have to do and, and try to reach your your goals, I suppose. But uh, I don't think you know I completely change as a person. Sidera C, how did you find out that you wanted to be an F1 driver? Um, well, I found that out when I was eight years old. Um, and I discovered go-karting, tried it for the first time myself and fell, fell in love then and there with it. And that was, that was it. Wanted to become a Formula One driver from there. Roger D, what's the most remarkable moment for you in your career? Not only in F1. Thanks a lot and keep the great work. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. Um, I think obviously my junior uh, career was very successful. Formula BMW, Formula 3, A1, GP2, there was a lot of great moments there, winning races, winning championships. So I like to, you know, remember uh, that time and, and have a lot of great memories from then. Antoine Legends, who would be more scared in F1 double seater? You behind signs or him behind you? <laughs> well, I think no driver is a great passenger, so not sure, but I'd probably be pretty scared, so. I wouldn't like to experience that. Lisa, one, we have not yet heard the new exhaust from Megane RS Trophy. Have you? Is it good? Stay tuned, Lisa. I have, and it will blow you away. Oh, Anthony Legends again, my friend. What about what type of music do you listen when you're in a car? So, one, one my favorite or my kind of music style is uh, house music. So, listen to that quite a bit, but. Um, also a lot of, you know, just general radio, Radio FG, I hear a lot, um, French radio, they play pretty good stuff. GT3, <laughs> what's his name? 150, okay, what would you say to the 10 years old Nico Hulkenberg? Whatever you do, do it better. Plot Onis, I'm not asking anything, just want to say Hulk, you're a one funny dude, and I only wish you the best. Ah, thank you very much. Appreciate it.